Hi guys, VST here, Valence Tech. Today I want to talk about enabling back the color filter that originally existed on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And if you're watching this video, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. Just gonna show something. If you are running the latest version of the OnePlus 8 Pro software, the 10.5.10 or even 10.5.11, you know that if you choose the color camera, which is here, the photochrome, and you just do a photo like this, then yeah, eventually you just get a photo of this. And that's not what we want, right? The original version of the photo hum filter had the ability to see through things. And now thanks to Piskel from the XTA community, there is a very easy way just by using one ADB command and your PC to enable the photo hum on your OnePlus 8 Pro. And I wanna do this very detailed video so that even novice users can see on what a whole process is. All right, so first, First thing we need to do is we need to enable the developer mode on the phone and I actually never did this on my brand new OnePlus 8 Pro. So what we need to do, go here, settings, okay? So you go to settings, you go to about phone and then you need to tap the build number several times. I think seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably a little bit more. Okay, now enter your pin if you have a pin code. And now when you reconfirm the pin, boom, you are now a developer, okay? First thing to do, now we need to go back to developer's options. Now go to settings and you can just put here developer, okay? If you put it like that, it's just going to navigate very easy. And then we need to make sure that we enabled two things, okay? One is here, the USB debugging, and then also wireless ADB debugging. That is actually here, step two. Very, very important because this is then the only option to connect your phone with your PC and do the manipulation. Now I'm gonna leave the phone behind and we're gonna do the next steps which requires a PC. Now you need to install apparently, you know, the minimal ADB tool. So when you open here this link that I will provide also in my video guys, you can download SDK platform tools for Windows or Mac, whatever you use, right? After you install, you need to connect your phone to the computer. Okay, so let's do this as well. I have here the cable, okay? And because I have wireless charging, I'm not using this so often on my fancy new OnePlus 8 Pro. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take the cable, stick it in my PC, okay? And I'm going to connect the phone. All right, so take the phone, connect it, okay? Now, once that's done, I'm gonna leave the phone just by my PC, okay? I'm sure that we have connection already, okay? And now, guys, you need to navigate where you've installed your minimal ADB tools. Now, just open a CMD, a common prompt. Usually, this is in program files, but not in the regular one. Let me just see, program files, this one here, x86. Once you're in there, just type CD and then look for minimal ADB in fastboot and then boom, you have the ADB there. Very important now, I am starting the USB debugging, okay? All right, and now we can see here, allow USB debugging, always allow from this computer, so I just press allow. And now we need to just follow two simple steps, guys. I'm just gonna go one step back. Now, inside the CMD, we just need to type ADB shell like that, okay? And then you're gonna see, we are already inside our phone. Actually, just right now, we just need to type this comment here. I'm just going to put the comment into the video description. Once you're there, just enter it, and now we're gonna see that you are already into the factory mode. Once we are in this factory mode, guys, you need to make sure that you go to camera number four. We can use the cycle button, so press it once, twice, third, four time. Now, camera number four is what you need, all right? So this here, as you can see, is the photo home camera, all right? But don't get yourself too hyped. We know that this thing only works on some very thin plastic. In fact, I had to scrape, you know, my things to just trying to find something that works. And luckily, guys, I'm able to show something. So you see here, we have a USB flash, right? And you can see it's pretty much covered with plastic, right? And okay, the magic apparently works here. So you can see it is getting transparent. Okay, I'm just trying, okay, you see here, yeah, else it's not possible for you to see through. Okay, now with the photo home filter, guys, we can see that there is something more there and it can just make even a photo, right? But okay, don't get yourself too hyped. It really should be a very thin plastic. So actually with this USB flash, I think it works quite well as you can absolutely see the internals, okay? Uh, even on the front, right? Even on the front. But okay, it really has to be something with a rather thin cover, okay? But okay, it does work and we proved this to work. So if you like the video, guys, you know what to do. Have a very nice rest of the day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. VST over and bye.